as millions of kids in the U.S. return to fields and courts for spring sports, black eyes and bloody noses are returning, too. This time the injuries aren't just among the athletes. These are dangerous times for referees and umpires who call penalties and outs. In Laurel, Mississippi, earlier this month, an umpire of a 12-year-old softball game was ambushed by a parent in the parking lot and hit in the face after the game. The accused assailant, wearing a Mother of the Year t-shirt, was arrested and charged with simple assault, a misdemeanor, and fined $422.25. In Livonia, Georgia, at a church basketball game this month, a referee was attacked after the final whistle by parents and 8th grade players. Some 30 stitches later, the ref is recovering. Attacks have happened at a Texas baseball game, a Northern California soccer game and a Colorado hockey game, where one parent sprayed a referee in the face with an industrial-sized can of Lysol. Chemical warfare comes to youth sports. What next? No wonder youth sports today face double trouble. Some 70% of young athletes drop out by age 11, primarily because sports aren't fun anymore. And 80% of referees quit within two years. Some have called referee abuse a national crisis. More broadly, others have labeled youth sports a cauldron of yelling and hysteria. Although plenty of games go off without a hitch, too many referees are demeaned and rules disregarded, abuse and violence are rampant, and winning appears to be the only thing that matters. The sideline mayhem has become pervasive enough that nearly two dozen states have laws against harming sports officials. And the legislature in Minnesota is considering a $1.000 fine for unruly sports parents. But laws, says Brian Barlow, a referee activist in Oklahoma, aren't the answer. He has refereed youth soccer for 14 years and started the Facebook page Offside. It began as satire, publicly shaming abusive sideline behavior with video, but has grown into an advocacy group for refs. The problem is worse than ever, says Barlow, who also runs a referee academy. Leagues are losing referees at record rates, and they're recruiting at historically low rates. I've never seen a time when so many games are being cancelled, he says. The result? Kids simply don't get to play, because their parents can't behave. Out of control youth sports parents are nothing new. In a 2017 survey by the National Association of Sports Officials, some 87% of participants said they had suffered verbal abuse, 13% had been assaulted and 47% had felt unsafe because of administrator, player, coach or spectator behavior. 